Hello, and welcome to episode 11 of the Kerbex Interplanetary Space Program. Today we return to the Cloud9 spacecraft, which is currently deploying one of its landing bays. The landing craft is a fully operational space and aircraft when separated from Cloud9. This initial lander contains our planet-side refinery and refueling equipment. During this first lander's aerobrake maneuver, it makes a rather scenic pass over the intended landing site. Once on the appropriate trajectory, the craft jettisons its engines and control surfaces and relies on parachutes to control its descent. The separation causes minimal damage, and the craft lowers itself well within the acceptable landing zone. The refinery facility and refueling vehicle are unpacked and set in operation. The hangar bay used to land them is disassembled after landing. The crew embark upon the refueling craft and make their way across the planet's surface. Their intended target is the previously landed Skylark spacecraft. Back at Jewel, the second pod leaves for Lathe. This pod contains the habitat and scientific vehicles and equipment for the expedition. The target for this landing is a different continent from the initial landing and refinery. Like the refinery before it, the habitat and ground vehicles begin to deploy. To facilitate ground transport between continents, an experimental repulsor craft dubbed Mud Skipper, designed to operate in Lathe's unique environment, is deployed. After the Mud Skipper is relocated, our two ground rovers, Aardvark and Dung Beetle, are dropped from the hangar bay. With the hangar disassembled and the habitat operational, 
communications with Kerbin are re-established. With the facility in working order, brave Kerbinots set the flag outside. The crew will now prepare one of the ground rovers for an expedition. The rover seats five and has onboard air and water filtration systems to permit extended EV activity. The rover is also capable of remote operation in case of emergency, which can be maintained indefinitely with its current power supply. The first expedition journeys far from the Kerbitat into the unknown of late. While setting up a research site, EVA packs on board can provide Kerbinauts with extra oxygen, or for those working close to the craft, a direct tether to it is available. The vehicle also has ample storage and equipment for any research needed to be performed on site. Aboard the Mudskipper, the ground team prepare for departure. Their part in this operation is complete. They'll be taken aboard the Skylark spacecraft for return to Cloud 9. The Mudskipper primarily uses its electric repulsor pads for propulsion, but to help travel between the two continents, limited jet power is applied. Arriving at the Skylark spacecraft, the crew begin transferring to the new vessel to prepare for departure. Arriving just in time to refuel for departure, the remaining ground team members aboard the refueling craft park at the landing site. Research and funds generated by the multitude of vehicles and equipment here will fund future endeavors of the program. My name is John. Thank you for watching.